How do you become a math genius? How do you get so good at mathematics that people will look at you and they will say, this person is a mathematical genius. This person is a math genius. We all look at great mathematicians like Ramanujan, Galois, Norther, Euclid, and we wonder how can they reach that level of intellect? How can they learn so much mathematics? The truth is this, nobody is born knowing how to do math. Ramanujan was not born knowing how to do mathematics. Galois was not born knowing how to do math. When people are born, they can't even talk. So mathematics is learned, my friends. It is something that you learn and you train your brain to think like a mathematician. You train your brain to learn mathematics. So it is 100% learned. It is not, you know, no one is born knowing how to solve quadratic equations, right? So it's something that you learn. So because it's something that you learn, you should be able to become extremely good at mathematics. So how do you do it? Well, there is no real secret. In order to learn mathematics, you have to actually do mathematics, right? That's the great Paul Halmos, which was a math genius, always said that the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. And when he was trying to learn a new subject, he would surround himself with as many examples as possible, right? And just engulf himself in the mathematics, right? full deep immersion, full deep immersion. You know, I, I once talked to a professor who had his PhD from Harvard. He was a French man, he was from France. He was very old and he was in his seventies. And he told me that when he was younger, he was able to work on mathematics for about eight to 10 hours. He would have books all around the table, papers all around the table, and he would just search for ideas and search for inspiration and he would claw and dig his way through the math for hours, eight to 10 hours. And in his old age, in his 70s, he was definitely in his 70s, he could only focus for about three to four hours. Think about that. Here's a man in his 70s saying he can only focus for three to four hours. That, my friends, is the definition of a professional mathematician, of, of a math genius. So how can, how can you get to that level? How can you become that good? And the secret is consistency and patience, right? Getting after it every single day, working on math every single day, consistently for a very long period of time. But that's just gonna help you learn mathematics and get better at it. How do you, how do you become a math genius? And so I try to think back to the people I've known in my life, the students I've had in my life, after teaching thousands of students, hundreds of classes over the years, what did the best students have in common? What, what, what was it that separated the students who consistently got A's and seemed to also at the same time grasp all of the concepts, you know? And I'm also thinking back to people I knew in graduate school, people who were just, just incredibly smart at mathematics. You know, the smartest person I ever met, the smartest person I ever met wasn't a student, it was, it was this guy I knew in graduate school. And I knew he was smart because he was the first person that I ever sat next to. And when we would do homework problems together, you know, I'd be on number two, he'd be on number seven. And I remember that feeling one time when we were working together, he was already on number seven. And I thought, wow, well, he's not just smarter than me, he's, he's way faster. How, how can I be like this person? And people like him have attributes that other people also have. So they're always on top of things. You know, if you, if you are always ahead, that gives you time to breathe. So for example, when the homework was due, right? This guy had the homework done several days before it was due. So he'd come to class, he was composed, he was well-dressed, he was not stressed. Looks like he slept well, ate well. He took care of his mind, he took care of his body. Just the definition of what it's like to be a success and just no stress, no stress in his actions. It's like almost as he moved through life, he moved through mathematics in just a very carefree way, you know, like, oh, so that's, that's how you solve this ring theory problem. Oh, well, all you have to do is, you know, do this inequality like this. And, and so to get to that level, 
you just have to have an incredible amount of self-discipline, right? Think about it. Most people, most people, including myself, as much as I tried, are just barely making it, right? You're, you're, you're studying for the test and you're barely getting the homework done, right? You're, you're barely getting it done and you barely have enough time to go back and review everything. So the secret is to be consistent, be disciplined in such a way that you actually prioritize mathematics. You make it a priority in your life. Because the truth is this, life is hard, and if you wanna be good at lots of different things, it's very hard. People always talk about balance and how you need to have a balanced life. You know, oh, you have your family, you have your friends, you have your social life, you have your significant other, you have your career, you have your health. But if you want to be a math genius, if you want to be exceptionally good at something, which is the definition of genius, right? Math genius. You have to kind of overdo it. You kind of have to focus on that one thing, focus on mathematics for an extended period of time consistently. But at the same time, you wanna have peace. You wanna be like that guy who, who walks into the classroom, like my friend who'd walk in there composed, well-rested, well-dressed, well-fed, happy, content, and he could just blow through proofs. Everything made sense. And it wasn't because he had some natural gift. Yes, he was very good naturally, but it's because he was structured and he was disciplined. He did not waste his time and energy on things that did not matter, right? So try to focus your energy, try to focus your time, and, and make mathematics a priority in your life. If, if that's what you wanna do, if you wanna be a math genius, if you want to be extremely good at mathematics, you have to make it your number one. And that's gonna require sacrifice, it's gonna require dedication, and it's gonna require that, again, you, you put other things off in your life. And I'm not saying you should do this, I'm not saying you should try to be a math genius. It's, it's only if it matters to you, because the truth is, it's gonna require some, some major sacrifice on your part, some major sacrifice. Math is hard. If you're in an algebra class, in a calculus class, I'm not saying that you don't know that math is hard, but it, when you get to the proof writing classes, when you get to advanced calculus, when you get to topology, when you get to algebraic topology, that's when it gets really hard, my friends. That's when it's a game changer, and that's what separates people you know, from becoming math geniuses and not becoming math geniuses, right? It gets incredibly difficult. It takes an incredible amount of time and effort and energy, and, and there's no way around it, right? Even, even the best mathematicians in the world, the math geniuses, they have to work incredibly hard at it just to keep up, just to maintain their level. So if you wanna be a math genius, stick to the basics, right? And make it a big part of your life and work on it every single day. But you have to really want it, my friends. You have to want it because it is not an easy road. It is not an easy road. It is not an easy road, my friends. And if you wanna learn math, check out my books. I've got books, links in the description. Check out my courses, links in the description. Check out my channels, Internet Sorcerer, Math Sorcerer Espanol. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And if you wanna be a math genius, you can, right? Remember, it is learned. Nobody is born knowing mathematics. As much as I love to believe it, Ramanujan is probably my favorite mathematician. And, you know, he wasn't born knowing mathematics. He had to work for it. And he was poor, right? That, that's, that's what makes me admire him so much. You know, he, he struggled to eat and he was able to persevere and do great mathematics, freaky mathematics, mathematics that makes you wonder how in the world did Ramanujan come up with this stuff? Right? Really, really crazy. That's all I wanted to say in this video. You, you can do it, my friends. Stay strong.